chapter 11, lesson 3 is multiplication with decimals. So here, we're using the same strategies of multiplication as before without decimals, but now we have decimals. So um, the thing that we have to remember, if it's mental multiplication, that me usually means that we're just or we're able to multiply a single place the value. Okay, but if we can't do it mentally, then that means we have to do computationally. So when we do computational multiplication, what we need to do is line up the numbers on the right-hand side. So we don't need to follow the decimals, but we need to have them aligned on the right-hand side. So to demonstrate, we will look at page 107. Okay, so here, the first number is mental multiplication. Okay, so why do I say mental multiplication? Because 3 times 2 is 6, and there's only one decimal place, so that's 0 0.6. Okay, with the second one, 3 times 2 is also 6, but here there's two decimal places, so that means 0 0.06. So if we can do it mentally, why not do it mentally? But if we can't, then that means we need the computational approach, which means to demonstrate those, we take problem three. Okay, so the instruction says multiply 6.7 and six. So which means when we do this, we put the 6.7 on top, we put the six aligned on the right. Okay, and then we multiply as if the decimal place isn't there. Okay, so when we multiply, this is 6 times 7 is 42. Okay, which means 6 times 6 is 36 plus 4 is 40. Then we count the number of decimal places. Since there's only one decimal place, the decimal goes after the zero. So the product of 6.7 and 6 is 40.2. Similarly, if we take the next number, it's 23.21 times 9. So I can't do that mentally, so I will do it computationally. So the bigger number on top, and then I'll put the 9 aligned on the right, and then we multiply as if there's no decimals. So this will be 9, this will be 18, that will be 27 plus 1 is 28, this will be 18 plus 2 is 20. Now, if we look at, there are two decimal places. So since there are two decimal places, we put the decimal right there. So which means the product of 23.21 and 9 must be 208.89. So again, if things can be done mentally, why not? But if it cannot, then that means computational is vertical, aligned to the right, and then end by counting the number of place values. That concludes lesson 3 of chapter 11. See you in the next lesson.